All right, YouTube, Shark Husband, your network here. Sorry for the uh, camera footage. I'm kind of doing in the dark with just a small light because I'm down here with my aquarium at night, and I don't ever turn the lights on, and the main reason for that is so I don't disturb the, uh, the sharks. They like their nighttime. They're very active. They're swimming all over the tank, and it's kind of like the best time of night for them. When I turn the lights on, it kind of screws their scheduling up a little bit. Uh, what I want to talk about today is uh, one of the most important things for taking care of a shark, which is keeping the tank clean. So... In that, as far as keeping, keeping the tank clean, uh, the most important part is probably the skimmer. Uh, my tank, I currently use uh, two Aqua, uh, Aqua C EV 1000s. Uh, it's 2,000 gallons of skimming power total. Uh, the reason I do that is because I truly believe you need at least double the skimming power in order to, uh, to maintain the water quality in the tank, which means if you have a 300 gallon aquarium, uh, you're going to need probably somewhere in the neighborhood of around a 600 gallon. Uh, 600 gallons per hour worth of skimming power. If you don't, you're going to be changing your water constantly. Your nitrates are going to constantly stay up. It's not going to be able to pull the amount of waste that these guys can put off, especially when they get kind of large. Um, there's a lot of good skimmers out there. I'm not going to get into a debate as to which skimmer is the best skimmer, which is not the best skimmer. I, the reason I chose the Aqua CEV is because the maintenance is very easy on them. They're very durable. Uh, the water levels do not fluctuate in them at all. I've, I've never had them go off unless I fiddle with them and did something stupid with them. Um, and uh, they also make Aqua ACV, uh, Aqua C uh, canisters that can, you can run the hoses to. I've got two of those running off of them. Uh, and they're very short and they're compact. I don't have a lot of space underneath my cabinet. So uh, the main reason I use those, I want to go with a 2000. They're about a few inches too tall for uh, the amount of space that I have height wise underneath the cabinet that my aquarium sits on, the stand itself. So um, I, I know Reef Octopus makes a lot of good um, uh, skimmers. Uh, but whatever skimmer you decide to get, make sure, you know, check the rating on it, make sure it's a good quality skimmer. Um, but definitely, definitely go with, at minimum, double uh, the amount of gallons that you've got per hour uh, in your aquarium. Sorry, that's the TV going in and out. Uh, that's the light that I'm actually using as my television down in my, in my downstairs where my shark aquarium's at. So, when you, uh, when you go to pick out your skimmer or when you're using your skimmer, uh, make sure you clean them regularly. Uh, at least, you know, probably I would take, take, you know, change the canister, dump the canister consistently, keep the waste out of there, and clean the hot, the, you know, the the the, um, the space where the uh, foam goes up through the tubing, where the foam goes up through and transfers itself into the cup. Keep that stuff clean, because if that stuff stays dirty, the bacteria in that stuff, that water is constantly cycling, is cycling that dirty stuff through, and it's going to mess up your nitrate levels in your tank, possibly throw off your nitrites. Uh, sharks are going to have a naturally a little higher nitrate level anyway if you can keep them around 40. Or so you're doing just fine. I mean, that's mine. Usually stays somewhere in the neighborhood uh, around 20, 30, 40, give or take. It kind of bounces around a little bit. I change my water once a week. Uh, if you have double the skin powder, I really don't probably have to do that, but I do it just to keep the water parameters the same and keep everything going good. They're used to it, and I've just stuck to it since I started. Uh, remember, double the skimming power. Whatever skimmer you decide to choose, make sure it fits underneath your cabinets. Easy to clean, easy to maintain, and if anything breaks, you can get replacement parts for it. I do highly recommend Aqua Sea skimmers. Um, especially the ones that model after the EV1000, even the small, smaller models, they're, they take up very little space. And if you want to increase your skimming power, you can put two of them in, in a very small sump area, and they can do the job for you. Uh, that's it for the Shark Customers Network on skimming power. If uh, you have any comments, leave them below, and I'll be more than happy to answer you back.